Guys, I'm out at AOP for another solo trip. Wish me luck. And so it's filling up, guys. It's Saturday. We have some amazing Jeeps going on the ride today. It is the September birthday bash. So let's see what we can get into. Check this uh, buggy, chuggy. It's not a Jeep, but it's a Toyota. Guys, these rocks are crazy. going on I should say then we got Angela we got Toyota guy and then we have 
still a lot more in the party. Stand here in the shade for a little bit. So he's trying to go back and forth, back and forth, trying to, there's a really big rock that he's dipping out on and he just has that wheelbase that if he backs up anymore, he's gonna end up off the obstacle and having to do it all over again. So they're gonna try to see if there's any way around it, but that might be his only move. <laughs> 10 minutes into the trail, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> We're 10 minutes into the trail and he's waving. <laughs> what did you do? You went that way? I didn't realize he was going. I'd come up there and say that. Yeah. Jeremy needs rear steer. Yeah, he just sold that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am falling. <laughs> no, you're good. That's part of the video. Okay. Okay. Making progress. side of course. before Angela's turn so let me make my way back down there I think she's gonna have an easier time than Jeremy um, she's at 114 so she'll have an easier time maneuvering I believe 
Don't hold me to that, folks. my favorite part and this is I think my first time not wheeling and just filming Marlon isn't here I don't have my Jeep I'm just a passenger so I can really focus on like how people choose their lines and literally how a couple inches of wheelbase affects everything Not everyone's as long as a bus. 
it is You're at 132? Yeah, 33. Well, oh, my bad. <laughs> I saved an inch <laughs> off. My bad, my guy. down hard right there. Oh! Yeah, give it some gas. Yeah, just let it. Yeah, boy! It's planted. That was bad. That was like a six. Right here is a nine. This is crazy. So I'm about like, I don't know, 20, 25 feet from the actual obstacle. Look at this, guys. Obviously, keep in mind, this does not do it any justice. I can totally. Ah, oh, my favorite. I didn't know you guys were out. I'm 5'3". Okay, this rock here has to be at least, I don't know, a good six inches and then it keeps going <laughs> this is crazy all right first contestant That's the line. Good old reds. At this point, you can just give it a bump. done this several times so we'll see what line he takes. He's gonna take the, the more difficult line. He's going towards you!
or two. That's for sure. You blinked, and if you blinked, you missed it, but wow, very well done. All right. Who knows what line he wants to take. kind of glad we didn't bring the jeeps because we're supposed to leave for trail hero in four days and if marlin got a hold of this trail pray for us pray for the jeeps <laughs> he's gonna definitely want to do this next time we're here trail 50 guys trail 50. so angela here we go is coming up she's next they're gonna line her up i'm interested to see she's 114 so the first guy to go was 114 as well but he took the far left side so so yeah, she's gonna do the far left side. She says that she wants to crawl. She doesn't want to send it. Um, and I would definitely say if there's any, not hesitation, but if you don't, if this is a fully commit, don't back down kind of situation, over here we're gonna be able to more or less reposition, try it a couple times, see how it feels and, and yeah, crawl. Brandon Collins, uh, the owner of Gulch's Off-Road built that. Um, he is extremely talented, both in off-roading and obviously fabricating. The Jeep just works. So right here is where I was standing before, guys. So right there, at least five foot five, if not five foot six. I don't want to get too, too close because there's a pitch this way, obviously, God forbid. To roll. Let's see if the video stays clear if I try to zoom in.
going to the left. second part of the obstacle um, definitely moist up here They're relying completely on the spotter since the angle, the sun, he can't see nothing. And yes, I know the proper way is he can't see anything. 
but we're in the south, folks. He's gonna send it from there? are a little aggressive so you could be obviously harnessed in suspension seats the whole nine coilovers bump stops but you feel it in there it just takes it out of you honestly we need to have a chiropractor <laughs> come out to every single off-road situation event and uh, just give us some quick adjustments for sure so jeff gave it a good go but now he's going to come up here so she probably moves. laughing but he's broke. What is that? Cody, what'd you break? Hold it up. Dun, 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 dun. What a good day guys. That was literally I think only like three or four hours of wheeling but it was exactly what I needed with you know Trail Hero or not really Trail Hero but the day that we have to leave to head west to Trail Hero about four days away. We didn't really want to risk having to you know have our Jeeps out there and give it hell. Um, it was still incredibly enjoyable. We ended up seeing a bunch of friends. It was awesome. And definitely next year, Birthday Bash, we'll plan it a little better and we'll end up using one of the Jeeps, whichever Jeep we don't take the Trail Hero. So it was awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm on my way back home. Like always, a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends and family. And we'll see you next time. Bye.